Welcome to another mega exciting five minutes ICC auto pairing. So let's see what it's going to be like here at this time. Are we going to get a game? How many total players are we going to get? Okay, so I think I'll play e5. And knight f6. Solid. Classical. Then I've got bishop f6 later. Yeah, this is this is dull. I've got d5 and it looks as though I've got some position. Nothing too fancy at the moment, but I want I, I'm, I want to be aggressive later with pawn structure. I mean that's going to be possible to be aggressive later even in this pawn structure. Um, like I don't know, uh, Bishop F five, Queen C seven, Queen B six. No, no, no. How can I be aggressive here? I can start marching the pawns forward. <laughs> Maybe F six and G five just to spice things up. Volunteer some weaknesses. Bishop g3, I can go for knight f5, then carry on creating some weaknesses uh, for myself. Oh, e6, yes. e6 is a problem already. It is when my light square bishop has not done that. You can take here and win this b7 pawn if he wants. He's not done that. Oh. Hey. This looks nasty. <laughs> uh, torture. <laughs> Instead, uh, what do I do? I wonder. I will take this guy. If he's not going to take it, looks ridiculous. Let's get the rook back with rook a8 later. Um. Yeah, I've just I've just weakened myself for not much, pretty cheaply, in an otherwise symmetrical pawn structure. Uh huh. Yeah, it's pretty pretty tied down. <laughs> oh man. Uh it's F five. Is that possible? It's one way of sacking a pawn. What G takes? Queen E six. Bishop E six. Um Okay, what about knight E four? Is that radical knight E four? Just to try and win the G five pawn. Close down his pieces a bit. Would he just counter sack? I guess he just counter sack with knight e4. Okay, there's a bit of an, of an initiative maybe with um with what exactly? So with. <laughs> With something, uh, with bishop g6, uh, with queen e3, I think bishop g6 to start off with. Mind you, there's knight e6 again, winning like material potentially. Right, so e3 is not on the cards. Uh, what about just queen, queen h4 for a moment? So f2 is vulnerable. Now, can I play b6 and then rook f7? 
and get the rook in a different way. Bishop h6 might be interesting. It's looking knight e6 is annoying. Oh, there's a check. Winning the rook. Check. Hmm. <laughs> Right, can I get my other rook back in? What's that? Is that a mouse step? How odd. Right, can I get my other rook in? He's just giving me a piece for nothing, a mouse step or something. Uh, so rook a8 to f8. that piece that does help what about rook f4 or bishop f4 here looks as though my pieces are in good shape for the first time uh, he's offering me an exchange I could just take it and try and win that and game or queen what is wrong with queen f6 is rook h5 well if he's going to take that anyway uh, king king h6 looks tasty uh, to force bishop to win that win one of his center pawns check well i can i can take with the queen there I'm back in the game, I think. So, uh, Bishop G3, Queen E7, Rook F7. So I think Bishop G3 is a, is a threat. Bishop G3 is being threatened now. <clears throat> uh huh. Right now, actually, I'm threatening Rook takes f1 but he's got the check here king g5 check All right he hasn't got a check on e5 just yet rook e3 well there's h4 uh, i want that queen f5 mm, or just h4 Let's just try and evict this queen politely for a moment. Queen Check. A, queen f6, okay. So this ending is interesting. If I just clamp that, or just play e3, e3 looks dangerous for a bishop f2. Looks like a lot of space. Bishop f2 for rook g4, rook h4. Check. Mind you, there's king f1. That still looks rather precarious now. Um, right, can I. Check. Put him under pressure here. Mind you, I've got to watch out for. Stuff Check. like I, I'm going to get this pawn to h3, uh, so that bishop's undermined. Hmm. More pressure on me. Was h2 the g3? No, g3. I'll take the bishop. Okay, so h2 threatening to queen. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to queen and queen f1. 
I'll stop the uh, check when she's got d6, but I'm queening. I do is pass pawns, not that bad. Yeah, blimey, that that was really uh, a tough one for someone who says play seemed to be his play was perfect for punishing my uh, rashness, perfect solidity. Uh, there's a bit of a transforming knight sack here because it's just such a passive position. And I've, I've played a similar knight sack before, just from seemingly totally hopeless position. When you got two pawns like this and do the knight sack. There was this game once, Adam's shot on TV with the night sack. I just found it exceptionally cute. But the engine, of course, it's terrible for black. But with this pawn chain, I think it creates some sort of pressure, uh, even though I lost the rook there as well. Uh, it helped him giving up the whole bishop for nothing. Uh, so he was a plus six. <laughs> it did really help. That was an added bonus, because I've still got this aggressive pawn chain now and I'm um, I'm actually doing okay if I'd taken the exchange there at any point. Uh, I think this game shows I should really stop playing Check. at the moment because uh, it does seem to be um, Check. Uh, Check. quite inaccurate to say the least as games go. Even five minute games. Check. Check. Right, uh, yeah, okay. Comments or questions on YouTube, thanks so much.